Hello, beautiful Art of Vibe community. My name is Kayla Silver, and I'm a mixed uh, multimedia artist working out of LA. And I just discovered augmented reality about a month ago and got completely obsessed with it, and I'm sure you will too. It's really fun, and the applications are endless, and it's um, it can be anything from really simple to really complex. And I want to give you the 30,000-foot view of how I, I started building these pieces, and... Uh, hopefully this information will be helpful to you. Um, if you want more specific information on how to use any of the elements that I've used in any of these programs, there's tons of tutorials online. Um, I learned After Effects uh, just after discovering augmented reality, so I actually taught myself the basics of After Effects in just a, a couple days, and there's, there's so many tutorials on there, so I'm not going to get too specific on all the techniques I used, but I will show you the programs and what the final effect was. So this is a piece that I created that I just uh, had in an art show with augmented reality and you can see what the original painting looked like and then what it looks like with the augmented reality added in. And this is a feature of Art of Vibe. You can actually record the animation projected over your video uh, as you're holding your piece, which is pretty, pretty fun. And it sort of lets people see what, it, what the app really does. So I'm going to move on into Photoshop to show you how I built this. I start all of my paintings as digital files. So this is the original image that I created, but as you can see on the right hand side, I have all the layers here and they're named and organized really carefully so that when I do pull them into After Effects, I can find all of them. After Effects is a really deep, really complex program and you want to stay as organized as possible. I've also simplified my Photoshop file as much as possible, flattened a ton of layers, and only kept the layers that I knew I'd want to animate. So maybe this ball, I can move that, I can move, I can move these birds, which are somewhere in here. We'll find them back in the, in the After Effects program. You'll see what I've done with them. I actually dropped them in as separate elements, and this is all trial and error, so you're going to have to play. But anyway, that's the way my file is set up. Once I'm finished and I'm, I'm happy and all of my elements are placed properly over their initial spots, you can see I like to line it up really perfectly. A reason that I like to line it up so perfectly is that you don't want to jar your viewer when you do put your camera over that painting. You want there to be this seamless, beautiful transition from your piece into this new world that you're creating for them. So you don't want to, you don't want to do anything too quick. Take it really smooth. So I'm going to save this file, it's saved, and we're going to move over into After Effects. I start this file uh, with the exact same aspect ratio that I have on my initial file, and this is really important, that your art of that, that your movie that you're making is the same proportion as your original image. And if you don't know what aspect ratio is, just go ahead and Google that. It's really um, so important to the process because when the movie maps to your image, it'll go full frame. And you don't want the frame to extend past your image vertically or horizontally. So you want to match the size. And I kept this somewhat small just to make my resolution small enough so that the movie wasn't too big. And I'm going to quickly scrub through this. I start exactly where the initial painting lives. So I, I keep the birds in the exact same positions as the initial painting so that when the movie starts, they just spring to life like magic. People really, really enjoy seeing that. So it's a 10 second clip, pretty simple. I spent about 10 hours learning how to animate these wings. That was not simple, but once I did it, the rest of it was pretty easy. And I just move the birds around and I end up exactly where I start at the 10 second mark. And I mean exactly where I start so that when it loops, once again, it's a really smooth transition and you can create this infinite experience. And I, I find that the 10 to 20 seconds tends to be a good amount of time for me to make my movies and I think 30 to 45 seconds is the limit that you would that you would want. Once again, if you want to understand any of these effects, just go ahead and look up tutorials and give yourself a little project and you know just, just play with it. Once you're done and you're happy, satisfied with your movie, you just export it, you know, just add it to your render queue or however you want to export your movie and you'll save it as either a QuickTime video or an MP4. Movie gets made and then 
we're going to transition over into the bridge art of eyes. Now I've got a couple artworks remaining. I'm going to make a test piece here. So I'm actually um, I'm going to duplicate a file that I'm going to duplicate this file. I'm not going to write over it, but I'm just going to show you quickly what the process of this is. Oh, and before I do this, the final movie that I've created, just to show you what that looks like, is I just call it Painting MP4. And this is the final movie. So I'll just play it really quick so you can see it. And that's the movie image seamlessly. Stops at about 10 seconds, and that's it. That's the movie that I'm going to upload to Artivive. And this JPEG is the initial image that I'm going to upload to Artivive. And it's really important that your initial image matches your movie as close as possible. So you can see they're, they're really close. Color's a little different. That's fine. Because you can't really control the color and the light in your space at all times. But you want to get it as close as possible. So back into the Artivive app, the first thing you're going to do over here, you're going to name your project or just call it whatever you want. Give it a name. This screen pops up. Then you're going to select your initial original image, which is in here, Desert Landscape, small, and it's going to put it right here. And then I'm going to upload my movie, which is this. And it's going to analyze for a little bit. It doesn't take too long. And then I'm going to click Add. And I'm not going to do that right now because it's going to tell me that there's a duplicate, but I just click Add and it'll create uh, my pro. It'll, it'll create it in my, let's see, I think I just go home here. It's going to be lost, but that's fine. And I'll show you where, where this piece lives. So it's right here. So up here, it's been viewed 652 times now. And I've animated also uh, these two pieces that you can see on the right-hand side, and they're pretty fun. And I've used similar effects. So once you've done this, you just download the Artivive app and aim it at your piece. You can do this on a postcard, you can do this on a business card, you can do it on a live piece, and it's done. And you can bring joy to a lot of people. So hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial and that it was helpful for you. And comment if you have any questions, and I'm, I'm happy to do more. Um, but I hope you have a great time with this app. And it's bedtime for me, but 